All right, got us a little swarm we caught earlier and uh, dump in the box and I kind of think they got out a little bit or queen's on the side of the box here. So give you a little preview real quick what we're working with. So there they are. We're giving this nook here and uh, I'm gonna coax these little ladies. I'm gonna talk to them real sweet and uh, ask them nicely if we can get them to go back in the box. So what we're gonna do is just take it real nice and gently, just take our fingers and we pull them up just take it nice and calmly. We're just going to push them, talk to them, say, hey, be friends. Don't do me a favor. So now please get back up here in this box. And when I'm doing this, I'm also looking for the queen. Because I'm also giving a little heads up. I'm just laying this gently on here. And what I do a lot of times, is I'll actually put a few in the box and I see what they're doing. I see if they're gonna run down the box or they're trying to run the other way. It kind of gives me an idea um, if the queen is in the box already or if she's still outside the box. If I put my hand with a lot of bees and a package of bees like this, if I put it in there and um, they start crawling directly in the box, I know the queen's in there. If they're kind of hesitant hanging on me, stuff like that, and I know she's probably not in the box yet, and I'm still looking for her. So they're still hanging outside. I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna do a couple more rounds of this. We're just gonna take them in there, let them get in there. I put my hand on the comb and let them walk off, get comfortable. So then we'll go back again, take a few more. And we're just going to start really coaxing these legs. Nice and soft is the way to go with this. If you go nice and soft, they're nice and soft. If you start being brutal and, and roughhousing them, well, you're not going to have a good day. So we're just doing this. What I'm going to do is just slightly just start pressing them to move up in the box. we got a storm coming in, so I'm going a little faster than normal. But nice little scoop and push right over the edge into the box. Just like so. Let's see, we're just gonna, and we're gonna keep doing that right there. Get this angle right here. So we're just talking to them. Hey guys. I'm sorry, ladies. We need to be up here in this box. So let's gradually just start working them up to the top. You can see these girls aren't really aggressive. And as I see them, I like to go like this and just see what they're doing. They're fanning down, they're fanning out. They're not driving, look, they're calling back up my hand. They're not driving down in this box. What that tells me, if they're driving that, not driving down in the box super fast, the queen is robbing down. The queen's gonna be in that cluster right there. So, we got a few little tricks for that. I'm gonna grab some frames and just set them up against these and let the girls start walking on them. And then I can start kind of figuring out what I want to do with them. And uh, so then we'll start looking at this, through this uh, swarm right here and look for the queen. So here we go. Watch this. And right now I'm not a threat to them. They don't feel that my hand's a threat or I'm doing anything to threaten them. All I'm doing is just trying to corral them ever so gently, nice and calmly, up and over, and into the box. A little dab over there. And as I'm doing this, I'm actually looking for the queen, I'm also looking for the behavior. what they're doing there and they get real wild and crazy I want to be very careful too because if the queen is in this cluster I really don't want to uh, hurt or damage her um, so we're very careful very slow I'm giving them lots of time I don't want them to feel threatened in any way
these ladies are just a pleasure to work with tonight. Dirty hands, clean money, baby. Dirty hands, clean money, every time. It amazes me how many people are fascinated by the videos of us beekeepers We're doing this with our hands. I think a lot of times actually the bees actually know your intentions. Girls are nice and chill tonight. Really nice. Just getting these girls down the box. You can see they're just happy. A very strong cluster on the end of my finger right here. I tell you the bad part is this time of year, you have a lot of drones. When you have lots of drones, they all look like queens. So it's a little tricky sometimes when we're doing this this time of year with all the drones find the queen becomes quite the needle in the haystack they 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 coined the term needle in the haystack it had to be for beekeepers to find the queen you're looking for 30,000 bees and you look for one that's a little bit bigger than the rest of them it's pretty tough Girls are very docile. Everybody's always asking me, how many times do you get stung when you're doing this with your hands? Honestly, and I just jinxed myself, but honestly, right now, I've taken zero stings except as I'm doing this. This time, it happens, though. I assure you. Sweet general girls tonight. Actually pretty impressed at how chill they're being. And once we get them down to a kind of manageable amount, now I can kind of look through here and I see if I see a queen, 
I'm sort of looking for the behavior. I'm still not seeing, usually if I have a queen, I'll start seeing them roll in real fast. And they're just kind of not, they're fanning out. Maybe they are telling them to come back up. I'm not seeing, normally they'll literally start marching in. So I'm not seeing that yet. I'm a little concerned whether we have the queen in this hive. And just a couple things, if we don't, it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. They might have lost a queen. They might have swarmed and she did not make it through the swarm. So, I mean, that's not the end of the world. If I can't find a queen here, if they start acting non-queeny, uh, weird term, but if they're acting like they don't have a queen there, they're saying, so I'll go to one of my other boxes. This is my front yard, actually. Um, I'll go to one of my other boxes. Yes, I have a little boxes in front of my house in the city. So, we'll actually take a frame of brood out of one of these one-day-old egg, two-day-old eggs. Or we use a swarm cell or we'll introduce a queen in here. Depends on the time of year, what we're doing. So again, I'm gonna watch these for a day or two. Um, put them, get them all, uh, all these ladies back in this box, get them happy and warmed up. Double check, see if we've got a queen in there, see what our, our, our actions are doing. And then we'll go from there and either add a queen or let them make a queen or uh, go from there. So this is what it's looking like right now. Girls are getting in there pretty good. And I'm gonna finish this up and uh, Stay tuned, I'll show you how it goes. All right, so what we're talking about now we're gonna start seeing is we're actually starting to see them climb and cluster and run into that top box, into the box now. So now we're seeing they are moving to that box. That does tell me that we are getting some um, pheromones there. Queen's probably in there now, or the pheromones there. So it's a good indication. I like to see that, I was a little concerned. So we got most ladies, we got most of them back in the box and uh, let you know how it goes. Stay tuned.